Thanks. Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2017, and we're visiting the DJI booth and our friend Adam Lisberg. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> Great to see you here. And today we're looking at the Crystal Sky Monitor. Isn't it an amazing piece of equipment? Are you are you blinded by its brightness now? Yeah, see? Exactly. Exactly. Are your eyeballs burning yet? They are. You I, know I, why? Yeah. Because this is putting out video at 2,000 nits, which is four times brighter than you're going to see off a smartphone or a tablet. You know, one of the things that we keep hearing from professional users is we need to be able to use this in bright daylight. We need to be able to rely on this. We need the director to be able to watch what the camera operator is already seeing. So we came up with the Crystal Sky series of monitors. We have this in 7.85 inches or 5.5 inches and an array of brightness from 1,000 nits up to 2,000 nits. It's designed for professional users who need to be able to rely on this in bright daylight when they're on a high value production. You know, whether it's a film shoot or an industrial inspection in the middle of a field somewhere, you need to be able to rely on that. It is designed to, you know, it's a, it's a sophisticated piece of hardware in its own right from the function buttons on it to the dual micro SD card slots to the HDMI ports. If getting aerial data and imagery really matters to you, this is the accessory you're going to need to visualize it. And speaking of being in the field, one thing I noticed this does, and I think this is incredibly valuable, is it allows you to load your maps into the monitor. Because yeah. I don't know how many times I've been shooting in a remote location, no cell access, yeah. no maps, and that's really a problem. Yeah, it, yeah you know, it, it's funny, for DJI, the more cool stuff we come up with, the more people want to take it out into new groundbreak environments, which is great. How do we work in a cell phone denied environment? How do we deal in a Wi-Fi denied environment? So more things like this, using a lot of our proprietary transmission technology as well, is designed to overcome those kinds of hurdles. So we've got this ultra bright screen. What's the resolution like? We have resolution beyond HD on this, which is pretty good for when you're shooting 4K or beyond with an Inspire 2. You know, the Inspire 2 shoots at 5.2K. Okay, so you've got this amazingly bright monitor. What, is the battery good for 15, 20 minutes out in the field? A little bit longer, up to about six hours when you're using the external battery connection. So. And you managed to burn through that six hours of battery life. We got a fallback? You got another battery. Pop this one off, put a new one right in there. Very cool. So replaceable in the field. Yes, that's the idea. All the power you need where and when you need it. Well, the question everyone out there I'm sure is going to want to know is when's this going to be available and what's it going to cost? It should be out there very soon. Uh, we're hoping that in May people are going to be getting them in their hands. And it's going to be an array of pricing for the smaller screen and uh, lower brightness at 1,000 nits. It's going to list for 469 US dollars. For the larger version, 2,000 nit brightness, 7.85 inch screen, it's going to be 999. Not bad at all for what you're getting. I mean, you can pay that much or more for another unit like that. I mean, non-drone specific, so very nice. Yeah. We're glad to put out technology that people are really going to use at a price that makes sense to them. And from NAB 2017 at the DJI booth, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Adam. Glad to be here.